Hello everyone, Nick of Street Pass Princeton here to play another episode of Let's Play Pokemon X and Y, and this will be my journeys of the PAX Prime Pokemon League. So this will be the fifth gym that I take on, and it is the Prime Leader, Black Maiden, Black Maiden the Narcolept. So, his profile reads, Hailing from a far-off land known for its intensely foggy climate, the Black Maiden is a terrifyingly presence in battle. As a young girl, she loved singing, but always found people fainted while listening to her. Rather than shy away from a, such a seemingly negative ability, she accepted it and shaped it into her Pokemon battling, choosing to use Pokemon on her team with a similar abilities. The Battle Chateau, recognizing the great strength that comes from her abilities, has invited her to become a gym leader of the PAX Pokemon League. To earn the Parish Badge, you must find a way to block out her gloomy song. If you don't, you may just perish yourself. So, on my team I have Frostlass, Jolteon, we also have a um, Mandibuzz, Gengar, Krogonk, uh, or Toxicroak I mean actually, and Delphox. Now, his team is mainly, as you guessed, Parish Song. So he's got two Pokemon with Shadow Tag, and he's got a couple of Parish Songers. So Taunt will definitely be useful in this battle, and that's why I have Mandibuzz and Frostlass. So let's begin the battle right now. And I will warn you how many turns this was. I think this was like 24 turns. Yeah, 24 turns. It was a pretty long freaking battle. So anyway, oh, I start out with Jolteon, not Mandibuzz. But Jolteon is pretty good against Ghost and Electric types. So here we go. So I go with a Volt Switch in the beginning just to see how much damage that does. And it does pretty good chunk of damage. So it comes back. And looks like I go with Mandibuzz to get that taunt. And I do taunt with Elsa against his, uh, well, you know what. So he won't be able to use any moves. So, looks like Azumarill's got that Amnesia. And he's got that bulk with the leftovers. So that will definitely be problematic. So I go with another taunt on his Azumarill, so that way he can't build up any more special defense. So I go with Brave Bird, just to see how much that does. Here we go. That does very little damage. Maybe like less than 8. So, goes with Shadow Ball, and that does a decent amount of damage. But that Cursed Body comes in, and unfortunately, now has no damaging moves. And funny enough, Azumarill also has no more damaging moves. So both of them will have to use Struggle. So, here we go. Azumarill does get some lefties, and I believe his other Pokemon gets some lefties. So, yeah, try to go for Taunt, because I thought it was going to attack again. So we got Struggle here. It attacks Elsa, surprisingly. I didn't think it would attack a Ghost-type, because I thought Struggle was a normal-type move. So, yeah, got to be careful. So at this point, I know that Elsa is low, so that's why I'm getting ready for the Destiny Bond. So Mandibuzz gets that bulk with the lefties, thank god. And Azumarill also gets the lefties, but that struggle is definitely gonna hurt. So Fool's Idol's Taunt wore off, uses Protect, unfortunately. So I go with Destiny Bond. Again, not sure what struggle will hit, the Mandibuzz or the Azumarill. So Azumarill still has no moves left at this point. So, still hits with Struggle, and takes even more damage. Yes, Struggle is a struggle. So, Azumarill gets more lefties. Yep. Oh, what's this? Turn 5. <laughs> okay, so we got another Protect. Yeah, his his team is, if you, if you notice, Parish Song Stall. Very fun. Um, so, we got another Destiny Bond. Again... I know that I'm going to have to be careful with Elsa, because it's probably... Elsa's going to go down, so I just want to make sure that if, uh... What's that quote from uh, Star Fox? If I go down, I'm taking you with me? That's the one. So, anyway, uh, we got... Uh, Azumarill finally can make moves again. So I go with another Destiny Bond, of course. Mandibuzz using another Taunt. 
Yeah, so then goes with Shadow Ball. I guess decided to finish off Elsa once and for all, and yet still pulls off another cursed body. Kind of funny when you think about it. So, Elsa takes the attacker with it. Great! And looks like goes down as well. Scald. Okay. So, Mana Buzz is burned, unfortunately, but I'm not really that worried because, again, lefties will negate the burn, and I got Roost. So I can last, I can last quite a while. And mind you, this is actually now the seventh turn. So we're at the seventh turn, and who do I bring in with me? I bring in my Electric Slide, aka Jolteon. So he goes and brings in Demon of Song, and I'm like, oh, ho, ho, Parish Song, you're so funny. Let's go with that taunt. So it goes with Leechmonger, which is that Wobbuffet. And I was planning on another Volt Switch, but I guess he was able to predict that move. So, I go in with Gengar. So we go with another Taunt, and this time on Wigglytuff. So Wigglytuff cannot use freaking Perish Song, because we don't want Perish Song. And thank you, Leftovers. And we also got some recovery for Wobbuffet. Now, what I love about the female Wobbuffet is if you notice that female Wobbuffets have lipstick on their face. On their lips, particularly. So I go with that Venno Shock on Wigglytuff. And I pull off that Roost. And as if you know, Wobbuffet cannot do any damage unless you attack Wobbuffet specifically. So... Like, that's good. Mirror Coat won't do anything. Get some recovery. Both Gengar and Mandibuzz have recovery items. Gengar with Black Sludge and Mandibuzz with Leftovers. So, pretty good overall. So, anyway. This Wigglytuff looks like it's gonna die pretty quickly. So, go with another Venoshock. And it looks like Wigglytuff is, uh... Gone! Bye, Wigglytuff! So I end up using Taunt on that Wobbuffet. So, most likely because of Protect. Okay. So, get some lefties. Okay. And then, Mandibuzz takes the burn, but luckily negates it. So we got Nassandra Nis here who is Lapras. So with Gengar, I'm just thinking, okay, I gotta make sure Gengar doesn't die. So I built up a substitute, and then Mandibuzz uses Taunt. So that Taunt will definitely take care of Lapras using Parasong. So I get hit by the Body Slam, which isn't great. Mirror Coat doesn't attack. I believe I used Disable with Gengar on that Mirror Coat, because make sure, making sure he doesn't attack me. So... Let's see here. Yep, get some more lefties. Oh, and we're about halfway done with this battle. So, yeah. Couldn't tell how long this battle was. So I go with Hex. Oh, I guess I didn't think to use Disable. So, but it does pretty good damage, even without the Disable. Go with Roost. I'm surprised he didn't teach his Lapras any Water-type moves. Only Body Slam. So... Yeah, and I'm kind of happy that my Mandibuzz is burned, because he can't paralyze Mandibuzz. So, I recover with that Black Sludge, and I think I'm going to deal with another Substitute soon. Or Disable, either one of the two. Disable's great against that Mirror Coat. So, we got Mandibuzz getting burned again. Uh, Taunt wore off. So he switches out his Lapras, and what do we get? She's a man, need to make a friend, don't make a friend, nah, 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 nah. Love that song. Anyway, I go with the taunt, making sure no Parish songs can be done. Leechmonger tries to use Destiny Bond, but unfortunately it won't really mean anything. Because even if I did attack that, uh... Even if I attack Wobbuffet, 
would have been enough to take down Wobbuffet. So anyway, and that's why I've taunt on Wobbuffet to take away Destiny Bond. So anyway, Mandibuzz gets burned. Luckily, it negates the burn with some lefties. So I'm guessing he doesn't know what to do because he's kind of screwed here. So he goes with his Azumarill again, and he withdraws Wobbuffet in favor of his Lapras. Okay. So I go with Disable, but unfortunately I can't pull it off. And then I use Roost on my Mandibuzz to recover some health. So Gengar gets some health. And at this point, I think I end up going Xenoshock on his Azumarill. Because Azumarill is, well, what am I thinking? Oh yeah, Fairy Water. So it goes with Protect, unfortunately, so that's not great. So Venoshock's not going to do anything. And I go Taunt with that Lapras, because I know I don't want to hit that Parish Song. So, yeah. Sorry, buddy. I know Parish Song. You think I'm stupid? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Got some lefties. His team is like all lefties. I'm pretty sure if you were VGC, lefties would not be good. But luckily, the PAX Prime Pokemon League is much more lax in its battle standards. So that's why he can use lefties multiple times. Uh, so that poison is going to take out... That Venoshock is going to take out Azumarill very easily, which is great. Finally gone. Uh, I go with Brave Bird. I mean, I could have gone with Roost, but... I mean, I want to be able to keep my Roost just so I can have Mana Buzz for that bulk. So, Cassandra goes with that Body Slam. Okay, and we got that Body Slam, but didn't do a ton of damage. Get some lefties. Okay. So, looks like Mana Buzz gets burned again. We got Maneater, Miss Nelly Furtado here. Hey Nelly, what's up? I'm gonna use Hex on you. So Nelly Furtado unfortunately gets Hexed. That's what happens when you're a Maneater. So, anyway, we also taunt on Maneater too. Unfortunately, Psychic won't do any damage because of that substitute. Thank you, Poke Doll Substitute. Yeah, it's a crit too. Oh, too bad you don't have Infiltrator. So body slam on Mandibuzz. Ugh, that doesn't look good on Mandibuzz. And looks like Gengar will recover a little bit of health. Okay, I don't know if I go with Disable or another Hex. We'll see here. So Gengar, which will you do? Substitute or Disable? I don't think Hex will beat it. So we'll see. So Taunt wears off, and goes with Protect, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I go with another Substitute, and that Substitute is going to make sure that Psychic will not kill my Gengar. So, Gengar will definitely take that pretty well. And Gengar will cover from the Black Sludge. And Mandibuzz will recover with the lefties. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Nelly Furtado recovers with the lefties. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Another protect. Great. Okay. Hex. Um, I'm hoping it's going to take it down. And it does. Great. It's gone. Bye, Nelly. Oh, man eater. Anyway, so Mana Buzz goes with that Brave Bird. And unfortunately, Lapras takes it pretty well. So Gengar and Mana Buzz are left. I believe he has no more Pokemon left. This is actually pretty funny. The ending, this ending is hilarious. So I'm just sitting here with Gengar, Mana Buzz, and I'm just like, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I believe I use Roost again. Oh, he has Wobbuffet, right. So Wobbuffet's here, so I go with another sub, and I go with Taunt on his Wobbuffet. I really don't care about Parish Song, believe it or not. So he goes with Body Slam, 
and Mandibuzz is pretty close to dead. But I'm not that worried. That lefties will save me. I have Roost. So I'm pretty good. And so does Lapras have Roost as well. So, getting to the funny part about this battle and how it ends. Yep, unfortunately Wobbuffet also recovers. So I know that Wobbuffet has Mirror Coat. So what I do to negate his Mirror Coat is to use Disable. But I do use Hex before I go with Disable. So I go with Hex. And yeah, I, I go with Roost with Mandibuzz. Okay. So he uses Parish Song thinking Andros style. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. But uh, it doesn't look like it's going to work very well. So Gengar takes that Mirror Coat. Substitute breaks. And then what do I do after my sub breaks? Well, we'll find out. Do I do another sub? Probably not. Why would I? Okay, it looks like Wobbuffet also gets some heal. Amanda Buzz also gets hit with burn. So we got that Parish count. So, get ready for the funny ending. So, goes with Protect on that Lapras. And I go with Disable on his, his Wobbuffet, like, You can't use Mirror Code anymore! <laughs> You thought you were funny. So, Mirror Coat is disabled. We got that Lefties from, yes, Wobbuffet. And Mandibuzz does get burned, but I'm not that worried. So, yeah, here we go. Parish Count falls to two. And then what do we got from here? Another Protect from Lapras. Does it matter? No, because Lapras is going to die with that Parish Song. Hex will take care of Wobbuffet very easily. So, I believe this is getting to the end. And this is the funniest part of the battle. So, we're all down to our one. He's like, well, at least I'm taking your last two pokes with me. Well, at least I'm taking two of your Pokemon with me. I was like, you know, since your Wobbuffet is gone and there's no more Shadow Tag... I'm just gonna switch out and watch Lapras die to its own song. So that's what I do. I take out Gengar, and I switch it to Rash, who was my Cro uh, my Toxicroak, and then I take out Mandibuzz, and I switch it in for Electric Slide. So now his Lapras is Parish Song, and he goes for another one, just so he makes sure that they all hear a concert. How nice! But too bad, the concert didn't last long for him, because Lapras is now out. And that means that I've won the Parish Badge. Awesome! So, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that battle. I know it was a bit longer than the previous ones, but it was a stall Parish team, so keep that in mind. So, be sure to like this video, leave a comment below, and do not forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google+, Plus, and Twitter. Next events will be Theorhythm Final Fantasy and Pokemon, I'm uh, actually not Pokemon, I'm sorry. Theorhythm Final Fantasy and Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 3DS in October. Anyway guys, uh, I will see you next time on the next Pokemon X and Y PAX Prime League. See you guys later, bye!